There are way too many tools to choose from and you might ask, what tool should I learn? And that's a great question. I'll go over some of the tools that you might be expected to know if you want to become a SOC analyst. But if there is one thing I want you to take away from this video is that tools are just tools. We'll start with number one, SIMS or SEAMS. One of the main responsibilities of a SOC analyst is to interpret the data and eventually paint a story. A SIM can help make this process much more easier. Now you might ask, is a SIM mandatory in a SOC? And the answer is no, it's not. But again, it does make it much more easier for you as a SOC analyst to correlate the data and eventually paint a story, assuming that you have all of your logs forwarding to that central location. There are some great sims out there that you can actually go and download and start playing around with it. For example, you have Azure Sentinel, Splunk, Elastic, Greylog, or Security Onion. All but Sentinel, you can spin up a virtual machine and download the sim onto your lab. That way you can get a head start on obtaining sim skills and boost up your confidence in that area. If you choose to spin up a lab, not only will you learn how to install a SIM, but you'll likely learn how to ingest data as well as parse data, which is incredibly useful, especially if you're a SOC analyst. Number two, network analysis. As a SOC analyst, it is extremely important for you to know how to analyze PCAP, flow data, or even IDS slash IPS signatures when it comes to an investigation. Some of the tools that I've seen a SOC use to interpret this data are the following. Wireshark, Zeek, TCP dump, Archimy, Snort, or Suricata. All of these can be downloaded and installed onto your lab. You can also go and download sample PCAP data to test out your signatures using Snort or Suricata as this will allow you to understand how certain signatures are created. You can use TCP dump or Zeek or even Wireshark to manipulate the data to provide you with information to assist with your ongoing investigation. Number three, EDR, endpoint detection and response. I cannot forget one of the more important tools in the SOC and that is an EDR. What is unfortunate is that many of the EDR solutions that a SOC typically uses do not have a community edition, meaning you can't download it and put it on your lab to get some hands-on experience. But I did find some similar ones that you can actually go and download. Just remember, at the end of the day, it's not about the tool, it's more so about its capabilities and understanding the underlying technology of how an EDR works. Especially, how does it differentiate between traditional antivirus? Some of the EDRs that you can download or set up are the following. Windows Defender for Endpoint, the Developer Edition, Aurora Light by Nextron Systems, Open EDR, or even What's Up. If you have never played with an EDR or don't know what an EDR is, I highly recommend you go and download any of these EDRs and install it onto your lab. This can hopefully allow you to understand what an EDR can do for an organization and why it might be better versus a traditional antivirus solution. Bonus section, not really a tool, but an awareness piece that a SOC analyst must know. And that is how to interpret Windows event logs. Majority of organizations work on Microsoft Windows and you can utilize Windows event logs to identify suspicious activity. I highly recommend you go and take some time out of your day to open up Event Viewer, take a look at security logs and see what you can find. And after that, if you wanna go the extra mile, which again, I do recommend for some hands-on experience, learn how to forward those event logs over to the SIM then start querying those event logs and make some sense out of it. If you're interested in Windows event logs, specifically in the security event, I'll leave a link down below where it will provide you with a list of all the IDs along with a description. This is incredibly useful, especially if you're performing an investigation using Windows event logs. Overall, the SOC uses a ton of tools, including OSINT to help them with one thing. And that one thing, is to make sense of data to eventually help them paint a story.
I didn't go through malware analysis, cyber threat intelligence, or even digital forensics and incident response because I don't want to overwhelm you with a ton of information. Get some hands-on with some of these tools that I've listed as well as research why you might use a certain tool. Because remember, at the end of the day, tools are just tools. And if you are truly interested in becoming a SOC analyst, we can work together. And once you have more experience, I'll start introducing you to a more specialized field. That is it for the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.